Good morning, and welcome to our Wednesday episode of Creative Mind Gymnastics, The Art of Surviving. Today, we dive into the psychological phenomenon of the midweek slump and how we can overcome it with inspiring thoughts and a positive attitude. Creative Mind Gymnastics, your source for fostering creativity and resilience. Join us as we provide daily insights and guidance to unlock your creative potential, boost resilience, and navigate life's challenges. Wednesday is unique in many ways. It's the point in the week when the past weekend is long gone and the next is not yet in sight. Psychologically, we tend to perceive this day as a kind of mental hurdle. Our energy and motivation can wane in this midweek period as our brain and body experience a sort of routine fatigue. This is partly due to the circadian rhythm that regulates our sleep-wake cycle and energy levels throughout the day. To overcome this midweek slump, it is helpful to change our attitude and motivate ourselves. Inspirational quotes can play a powerful role in this. A quote from Vince Lombardi hits the nail on the head. The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of will. These words remind us that our willpower plays a crucial role in overcoming challenges. Another quote by Jim Ryan says, Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. This underscores the importance of consistent routines and habits that help us stay on track, even in difficult moments. In addition to these motivating words, our own thoughts also play an important role. Every day offers new opportunities and possibilities. Wednesday can be more than just a weekly hurdle. It can be a turning point where we pause, reflect on our goals, and adjust our strategies to achieve them. Simple measures such as setting small, achievable goals for the day or consciously spending time on activities that bring us joy can improve our mood and boost our motivation. These actions help to influence the balance of neurotransmitters in our brain and can evoke feelings of well-being and contentment. In different cultures, the so-called midweek low point is experienced and handled differently, mainly due to the respective work culture, work-life balance, and social norms. In countries with a strong work culture, such as Japan or the USA, Wednesday is often felt to be particularly stressful. Here, the focus is strongly on productivity and performance, which can increase the pressure in the middle of the week. In contrast, there are countries like Denmark or the Netherlands where great importance is placed on a balanced work-life ratio. In such cultures, Wednesday might be felt less as a low point, as there is a healthier balance between work and leisure. This helps to mitigate the stress and pressure otherwise felt in the middle of the week. Additionally, social norms and traditions play an important role. In some cultures, there are special customs or weekly events that help to break up the work week. For example, regular social activities or community events on a Wednesday can help lessen the feeling of a slump and create a more positive and energetic atmosphere. These various approaches show how cultural differences can influence the perception and handling of the midweek. While in some cultures, Wednesday is seen as a challenge in others, it can be perceived as an opportunity for social interaction and relaxation. To conclude today's episode, I encourage you to see this Wednesday as a chance to reorient yourself and start the rest of the week with new energy and motivation. Remember, every day offers new opportunities and Wednesday is the perfect time to recognise and seize them. Thank you for joining us today at Creative Mind Gymnastics, the art of surviving. I wish you an inspiring and energetic Wednesday. Stay motivated, focused and open to the numerous possibilities each day offers. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>